In this video, I am going to talk about the bike size and the fitting of Wood Van Aert on his new Cervelo S5 2022. My name is Mika. I write a homepage called dmcx.com where I review all, oh, as much as I can, the pro bikes size and fitting. Uh, because I'm, I'm kind of like nerdy, I like to watch the race and I like to know what the pro are racing on and with what and how and, and and this led me to, to write a blog about it. Right, so Wood Van Aert, who, you, you think whatever you want, but right now for the 2022, I think he's the best man, the best road racer. He, he's, he's, um, he's able to, ra to, to win on any type of race, right? He's like the sprint, he can out sprint a lot of sprinters actually. Even he is not a pure sprinter, he can climb the mountain and he can win stage like last year, uh, the year 2021, Tour de France, win winning massive uh, mountain stage, and then winning the time trial also. If you have Wood Van Aert in your team, <laughs> you know you're gonna win some race somehow. He he's uh, just amazing. Right, so in this video, uh, I don't want to waste anybody's time. I don't show pictures of the bike, I don't show pictures of the rider and neither of the rider riding his bike or... It's, it's just a chat, basically. And I'm, I'm gonna show just a sketch of, of the geometry to, to, to show what I'm talking about. And you can grab this on my homepage called dmcx.com where I, I, I gather all the information I, I get. Right, let's go to the size. Wood Van Aert is racing on a size 56 Cervelo S5. I'm talking about the S5 today. Uh, even though the team has access to three models of Cervelo, the S5, the R5, and the P5. The P5 is for, for the time trial. The R5 is for the mountain stage. And then the S5 is for the sprinters or like strong and powerful riders. For, for the flat course or hilly, but not really for like pure mountain climbing. So actually, I'm talking about the S5 of the year 2022, which been raced for the first time by the team on the Paris-Nice 2022. The, the, the frame is slightly, it's, it is an evolution compared than the previous model. And how you can spot this? You look at the top tube junction with the seat tube. The new model, if you look at it, well, basically you just Google, you go Paris Nice 2022, you look at the jumbo team, the whole team race on the new model. And how you can spot that is by looking at the top tube junction with the seat tube. Instead of a smooth round connection between the, two, the, the top and the seat tube, it is now uh, a more angular. There is a top tube catching up with a, with a strong uh, reinforcement uh, before catching the, the, the down uh, the seat tube, and, and it looks now more like a kind of like one piece of hexagon. Basically, it's like three three straight lines: one, two, three. Instead of doing like a smooth round corner. So don't look at my sketch because my sketch is I couldn't get I couldn't do that straight line between those two tubes. But the, the, my, my sketch is referring to the new sizing. Now the team is racing on the new model. And this is a size 56 for Wood Van Aert. Wood Van Aert is a 1 meter 90 tall. So it is basically um, like a lot of pro riders. Is, they, are riding, they are racing with one size down. And what would the local store recommend you to, to, to ride? And the, the reason is because uh, pro riders need to find uh, uh, the sweet spot of their fitting on, on their bike. And it's, it's, it is easier with a smaller frame because they can adjust, they can play more with the stem length and the seat post height and force and back of the saddle. So here we are with a size 56, the saddle height measure from the saddle, uh, from the center of the bottom bracket to the top of the saddle is 790 millimeters. The seat post, which is uh, Cervelo branded or original design, 
a seat post, it's a zero millimeters setback for Wood van Hartman. And the saddle is set at 102 millimeter setback. This, is, this means the measure from the front of the saddle to the virtual axle of the bottom bracket. It's 102 millimeters, which is uh, within the UCI regulation of uh, the saddle, the front of the saddle cannot be uh, uh, less than 5 cm or 50 mm. Now, the distance between the front of the saddle to the axle, the axle of the handlebar is 620 mm. And the, the stem is 130 mm. And the handlebar width is 400 mm. The crankset length is 172.5 mm, which is kind of short for, for 190 uh, cm uh, tall rider. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you look at my other videos or, or my homepage, you, you, would, you will see a lot of riders of 190 rest on 175 mm. Uh, crank lens. But there is a small uh, trend. Uh, a lot of riders actually go for shorter crank lens. Very interesting. Fitting. Fitting is very interesting because it is very personal to that person and, and it's actually not fixed. It does evolve within, even within, uh, let's say on the grand tour of three weeks, within three weeks, the, the rider will adjust his position slightly like about 2.5 cm or 25 mm adjusting his saddle and his position and even changing the crank lens. So don't take all those information as fixed engraved on, in the stone. It does evolve with the rider along the season, along, uh, even within one race of three weeks well, race. When the riders are getting tired after the mountain stage, they start to play with, uh, with their fitting. So. This is to just warn you, like you, you might see, like sometimes I got messages like people telling me, hey, hey, hey why, why is it like two millimeters different on this one? And this? <laughs> yeah, thank you, sir. Or oh, thank you very much. But no, it, it's, the, the, there is a, um, a fitting window where the riders, most of riders play within the season. So that's why. Right, now I think I, I talk about everything about the bike. It's a beautiful bike, actually. Uh, I, I, at first, I didn't really enjoy looking at the Cervelo S5 shape, but the, the more I look at it, and, and uh, when I work on the, on the geometry of the frame, I started to understand the, the philosophy of the design, and actually I, start, I started to like the, the, the bike. <laughs> it it makes me laugh because uh, before I, I start to look at it seriously, I, I, I was I didn't really like it, and that's why I kind of like delayed working on the S5 because I didn't enjoy looking at it. But anyway, uh, now I start to. Uh, I think it is a very very nice bike, very very effective for strong riders. I don't think it's good for small riders because you need so much power to 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 enjoy the the, the drag uh, benefits, the decreased drag benefits. Is of the and the aerodynamics, and um, yeah, it is a very nice bike. Um, if you have any question, just let me know. All the sizing are on the sketch, so you can, as I said, you just go to dmcx.com. You, you put in the search box, you put wood van art, and you get the sketch, all, all the details. Uh, I think uh, I think I cover all. I did cover all. Thank you. So we can do a high five if you are still. Uh, we do a virtual high five if you're still here at the end of this video. Thank you very much. Catch you on the next one.